Oh, hello there. My name's Mr Perkins. I'm one of the drivers here on the railway. Sometimes I drive Thomas, but he's away travelling at the moment with his regular driver. Thomas loves travelling, so does his driver. But there was a time when Thomas left his driver behind and went travelling on his own. <laughs> There's a story about it in one of these books. Ah, here it is. Thomas comes to breakfast. Thomas has worked his branch line for many years. You know just where to stop, Thomas, laughed his driver. You could almost manage without me. Thomas didn't understand that his driver was joking. My driver says I don't need him anymore, he told the others. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go anywhere without my driver, said Toby. Nonsense, boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. Thomas woke the next morning. His boiler was lit, but his driver hadn't come yet. I'll just go out and then I'll stop and whoosh! That'll make Percy and Toby jump. So very quietly, Thomas headed for the door. Thomas thought he was being very clever, but really he was only moving because a careless cleaner had knocked his controls. Thomas soon realised his mistake. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. The siding ended at the road. Thomas's wheels left the rails and crunched the tarmac. Horrors! He exclaimed and shut his eyes. The station master's family were having breakfast. The house rocked, broken glass tinkled and plaster peppered their plates. And there was Thomas peering anxiously into the room. Workmen propped up the house and laid rails throughout the garden. Donald and Douglas, puffing hard, managed to haul Thomas back to the yard. Thomas's funnel was bent. He was in disgrace. You are a very naughty engine, said Sir Topham Hatt. You must go to the steamworks to be mended. Meanwhile, a diesel rail car will do your work. A, a diesel, sir? Thomas spluttered. Yes, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. Diesels never gallivant off to breakfast in station masters' houses. I don't think Thomas will be going off travelling without his driver any time soon, do you? <laughs> oh, but I hope you'll come back for a story soon. Goodbye. One morning, Henry was told to take some workmen to a tunnel which was blocked. The workmen tried to look through it, but it was quite dark. No daylight shined through the other end. The workmen took their tools and went inside. Suddenly, with a shout, all the workmen ran out of the tunnel looking frightened. 